Hi, everyone. It's so good to see you again. I want to recommend another book to you. Now, I recently recommended Provision by Robert Pemberton. This book is by Jerry Savelle, and it is from Devastation to Restoration. It's a great book, and regardless of what you're going through in your life, whether it's in your marriage, your finances, in your job, uh, in, in anything that's going on in the world right now, that this is an opportunity for us as children of God to shine and to overcome. Now, this book is very meaty, and what I mean by that is is that you're probably going to read it two or three times, not because you're not intelligent and you can't get what he's saying, because it's an easy read, but there's just so much depth to it with the Word of God. So when you're praying as you're reading the book, and I recommend that you do that, that you pray as you go through the scriptures and say, all right, Lord, what is he talking about here? How does this apply to me? So that you can grow, but not only that your faith grows, See, without faith, it is impossible to please God, and those that come to God must believe that He is God, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek after Him. So if you're going after the Word, Jerry Savelle talks about when you've been in a time of famine, when you've been in a time of, of dire situations, to put your trust in God, and how God will bring you out, because He loves you. And when God, when God raises, up, raises us up, meaning the body of Christ, during a time of famine, during a time of devastation, and he raises us up, it's amazing. He does it for two reasons. One, it's so that the world turns around and goes, why are they prospering when everybody else isn't? And number two, how did you get there? And we say, I asked the Lord and the Lord showed me. And you're leading them to the Lord. Now, some people are going to reject that and go, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, you're just a savvy businessman, a sav savvy businesswoman. You know, you've got all this under control. But, see, God wants them to be drawn to him. And he will use different avenues to do that. He will use different ways to get people to hear him. And a lot of times, it's by the person who is flourishing and prospering during the time of famine. I recommend that you go ahead and pick up this book. If you can, get extra copies, get them to friends, because I know there's a lot of things going on right now. I've talked to so many people, they're out looking for work, they're, they've, they've been let go from their job, their marriages need assistance, their kids need to get saved. There's so much happening in the world, and it seems like it's just closing in. But that's the time we're supposed to shine, right? That's how a diamond is made. A diamond is created under pressure. It doesn't just pop up one day. It's created under pressure. And God wants us to shine for him. He wants us to be his light in the earth. And to do that, we need to know what his word says. And we need to flourish in the time when everybody says you can't. When everybody says it's impossible. When everybody says, oh no, everything is just falling apart and you just can't you there's nowhere to go and I don't know what to do anymore and you know I've just never saw it this bad in my life oh my goodness what are we going to do well, we need to change our mindset and that mindset happens in the word of God so I encourage you to get the books today and to really just say all right Lord how does this apply to me Holy Spirit show me teach me so that I'm ready to make a difference in the world for you I appreciate you joining us today thank you so much we look forward to seeing you soon